Coach Ferry, I'm the head football coach here at Benedict College. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Welcome to Benedict College. It's a great day to be a Titan. Welcome in for another edition of the Coach Chennis Berry Show, all things better than college football. You got Coach Chennis Berry. My man. What's up, sir? Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. See, I'm right on time with this thing. You know what I mean? That's we right. want to say thank you to our sponsors for, of course, allowing us to bring the show to you. South Point Roofing and Restoration. Thank you so much for being thank the you. primary sponsor. We say thank you seriously. Yes. We got Lexington Medical Center, which has been on board, as well as Goodwill, uh, Columbia Metropolitan Airport. And as you know, at the home games, you have a shot at winning a trip. All you got to do is come to the home games at Charlie W. Johnson Stadium and uh, get squared away there. A little later in the show, we'll, we'll kind of touch on that just a tad bit. Mm -hmm. Also, Founders Federal Credit Union. Thank you so much, as well as Pri uh, Prisma Health. And uh, we got South Carolina Education Lottery. Whew. I mean, this past week, it was up to a billion dollars. I don't know if you knew that, Coach. Oh, wow. You got to play responsibly, though. I don't know if it's over that or not, but oh, yeah. hey, oh, you yeah. know, good luck to somebody out That's there. Right. That's right. Tigers playing Morehouse, the other Tigers. And uh, we come away with a victory, which is a great thing. That's what we all What was about. the score, Coach? 27 to 3. 27 to 3. We're going to tell you how it all got to be that score in just a sec. But here it is. You guys, uh, you, you guys win the toss. You defer to get it in the second half. Morehouse gets the ball, but they don't have it long again because your, your, your defense comes up with a stop. Well, you know, like any game, to God be the glory, we won a football game. I always say it, man. It's 50% of the teams in America that won <laughs> and 50% of the teams in America that lost. So mm -hmm. we're glad to be on the winning side. Did we play our best ball? No, we didn't. But at the end of the day, we found a way to win a football game. And we have to give credit to the other team, too. You know, they got coaches. They got guys on scholarship. Mm -hmm. And they found a way to compete. And they found some things that they thought that was working for them. And I tell you what, I am grateful for the staff and the resilience of our players to find a way to see it through. And uh, we found a way to come with the mission. The mission doesn't change. All right, that's to go one and zero every week. It wasn't the spread of victory that people have been used to seeing for the first four games, but we won the game, still with a comfortable margin. So I'm very, very proud of my football team and all the coaches and all the support staff. But that opening drive, like you say, we deferred to the second half. We put our defense out there first. Felt really strong. A couple plays later, Giovanni Melador gets a pick. Uh, he's just been playing that way all year. Melly's a great player, a great person, great student. Just an overall pleasure to have in our program. But we were able to get the ball offensively, and we were moving the ball. I mean, just a mixture of run and pass. Aeneas Dennis started off a completion to Jalen Jones to start off the drive. Then we fed that ball to Duhart. Got a couple big runs on that drive, and we got the ball inside the 10. And then we ended up stalling a little bit. Had a self-inflicted negative here and there. And then we had to settle on that drive for a field goal. So we're up now three to nothing. All right, so Morehouse gets the ball back on the ensuing kickoff, and they drive down the field. They get an 11-yard pass, third and seven at that time. Mm -hmm. Then they continue to drive. They get another 19-yard uh, pass, and now they're getting into the red zone. They're inside their 10-yard ten, uh, mm -hmm. line. What, what are you doing here? Well, you know, we always just talk about winning it down, and then they did a good job. They had a good plan. They controlled the clock. They weren't snapping the ball to about about two or three seconds. They were trying to keep our offense off the field. Mm -hmm. And I thought they did a pretty good job of that. At the time of possession, I think they ended up finished with like 35 minutes as opposed to our 25 minutes. But ultimately, at the end of the day, they were getting first downs. Mm -hmm. They were getting first downs. And they were moving the ball, all right? But our defense, just like they do all the time, they bend but don't break. And uh, well, they were able to take a drive, and we, had to, um, we ended up closing it down and allowed them to not get into the end zone, but we had to settle for them getting a three-point field goal. So now we're tied up 3-3. So now it's Benedict turn on offense. They get the ball back. They drive down 70 yards on this field in just nine plays. Well, on that drive prior to that, we settled for three. But we wanted, we told them, guys, it's time to get touchdowns. Let's mm -hmm. get the ball in the box. So we took a, ball, a drive down the field 70 yards. And I was proud of our guys for responding because they wanted to get in that end zone the first one. But we mixed it up, a little running pass. We put Jalen Taylor in the game, another one of our explosive running backs. We were able to mix up run and pass, and Nias Dennis found Nick Soul on a big gain to get us down in the red zone. And then we were able to close that drive with one of our play action passes to one of our tight ends, Rashad McCain, for a touchdown. Now we're up 10 to 3. 
All right, so here it is. Benedict defense back out on the field, and they hold Morehouse to three and out. They punted it away to you guys, and uh, we get into the second quarter here. Well, we're, we're getting ready to roll. We had just scored on our last drive, so we're moving the ball again. Uh, we started off that drive with Aeneas Dennis to Jalen Jones right off the left side. Nice play action pass down the sideline. Had a big game. So we were moving it. We ended up getting the ball inside the 10 yard line. And then we had a self inflicted negative. Those sins that, are, that are hurt you every time. We had a false start to end up moving us back. So when it's all said and done, we didn't get it in the box in the, in the end zone in terms of a touchdown, but we were able to settle with Tom Picarillo with a field goal. Points are on premium. We always talk about points. Now we're up 13 to 3. Morehouse gets the ball. They decide to go ahead and drive down this field. And matter of fact, they drive in and they feeling kind of kind of lucky. You know what I mean? They get all the way down to the 18 yard line of Benedict. Yeah. It's fourth and two. And they want to test your defense. Hey, not a good choice. <laughs> our defense is pretty good. They they been playing great ball all year. Kudos to our whole entire defense and unit. But they went for it on fourth and two. You know, they were in scoring range. They could have tried a field goal, but they felt like they needed to get some momentum before the half. And our defense has stepped up like they've been stepping up all year. And uh, JB, Jaden Broughton, was able to penetrate, get in their backfield, stop them on fourth and two. Now our offense gets a chance to get the ball. And I tell you what, uh, I was very, very proud of our defense getting that stop right there because the reality is they don't like to give up any points at all. You know, they've been playing really, really good ball all year. But, you know, there were a couple punts here and there from our offense, their offense, but we were able to close that drive out. We always talk about the middle eight, the last four minutes of the first half and then the first four minutes of the second half. Very, very critical. You can really change the trajectory of the game with those minutes. But anyway, we had the ball. It was like 50-something seconds left in the half, and we were moving the ball. We wanted to get points before the half. And uh, our quarterback, Aeneas Dennis, was able to find Jalen Jones on a nice, pretty bomb on our left sideline for a big-time touchdown as time expired in the first half. So we literally got that touchdown for like – uh, one second left, and then going into the half with a nice, comfortable lead. Now we're up 20 to three at the half. All right, so that's the half right there, 23. But we're not going to stop right here. We got to talk about uh, Jalen Jones. This guy had seven receptions, 102 yards, plus a touchdown, and for that, he's the Prisma Health Player of the Game. This guy was outstanding. Well, Jalen, man, I'll tell you what, we're excited about him. He's an explosive receiver. Man. He really is. But, you know, he had some uh, injuries that kind of slowed him down in training camp, so he's now finally getting to 100%. He's still not 100% yet, but he's an explosive wide receiver. He's in his first year in this program, and, and we know at any moment he can take it to the house. So super excited about Jalen Jones. He's not even – reached the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, he's still growing and learning in our offense, but I think he's got a chance to be special. <laughs> it's a great thing when you say stuff like that, especially mm -hmm. about a player who put on such a performance in this game. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but, you know, speaking about this game, tell me your thoughts on this first half against Morehouse. Well, like I say, man, I tell you what, uh, the expectation is their best. And, uh, you know, I, I know our young men are ready to go. We're going to make sure as a staff, we're going to coach them hard all week to make sure they're ready to go regardless. We don't look at records. But, you know, we started a little slow than we typically have. Now, we still have a comfortable lead at the half. But like I told our staff and I told our players at halftime, we're a better football team than what we're showing in the first half. And uh, they understood. They understand the expectation of the program. And uh, I tell you what, they, they are guys that are a resilient bunch. They took it all in, coaches and players, and we found a way to, uh, you know, uh, make all our corrections or whatever we, we need to do. And a lot of it was self-inflicted negatives. Kudos to Morehouse and their staff and their players for really competing in that first half. But a lot of problems we were have were self-inflicted. We talk about those sins all the time. It's us versus us. You know, we got to do a better job in the first half of starting fast and closing that thing out the way we want to. So, again, those, that was the message that I sent to the team at the half. Gotcha. All right. We're going to take a quick break, but before we do, we're going to let you know uh, we have our player spotlight, which is brought to you by uh, Goodwill. So, Jaden Broughton will be our player. JB, he's an amazing player, amazing person. Uh, he's got, like, uh, eight or nine sacks right now so far this year. He's a great player, great person from Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, we're really grateful to how the, the growth that he has made in his short time here. And I tell you what, he's hard to block, man. I tell you, when, he, when we in practice, man, it's tough to get a playoff between him and Luber Danellis and that defensive line, man. It, it's tough days, but JB's a good player, a great person, and I'm, I'm actually happy to see how well he's doing so far this season. All right, 20 to 3 to score. And this is the Coach Chettis Berry Show brought to you by South Point Roofing and Restoration. Back with that second half and that player spotlight presented to you by Goodwill. 
right after this. How you doing? My name is Jaden Broughton. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, and I started playing football at the age of nine. Time management is the biggest obstacle course that I've seen face today because having to deal with meetings, practice, and classes is a big deal for coming successful. A athlete's public image is, is a big impact on his, on his or her organizational program because it is you showing, is you sh is you representing the program in a way. So giving a first impression everywhere you go is a big deal. You, whether, you are, whether you are out with your friends, whether you are with the team or anyone, first impressions are always a big deal. Go Tigers. Your trip begins now. Your trip is your story. And all the best stories begin right here at the Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Whether you travel for business or pleasure, we designed CAE to maximize your comfort Maybe your trip is one of discovery, reunion, or time to close the deal. Wherever your trip ends, it all begins right here. The Columbia Metropolitan Airport. Fly with ease. Welcome back to the Coach Chennis Berry Show. All things better than college football, baby. And I got to tell you that want to know again if you're not keeping count of how many times I said that. <clears throat> no, 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 no. That's what the coach says. Mm -hmm. All right, so Morehouse second half. Bennett gets the ball back. And uh, this first drive, they, they get ready to take this ball downfield. Take it from there, coach. Well, again, we were moving the ball. man. We, we consistently moving the ball all year. But we mixed it up, a little running pass. And DeAndre Duhart, we wanted to feed the ball to our big back. And he's a really special back. And we were moving the ball down the field. Mixture of run, mixture of pass, mixture of screens. And um, we had a big play to, uh, from Aeneas Dennis to Nick Sewell that got us down inside, you know, just kind of rocking and rolling and moving the ball. And uh, we had to go for it on fourth and four. We were a little bit outside of field goal range. All right, so we were in four down territory. So instead of punting it, we went for it on fourth down. Again, we had a guy open. We were trying to get it to Jalen Jones again on the left side. We were a little bit late with the throw and uh, we were able to uh, not convert on that drive. So it was fourth and four, and we ended up turning the ball over on downs. Mm. Man, I hadn't heard that before in a while. <laughs> I mean, a long while. <laughs> All right, so the Maroon Tigers, they get the ball. They drive down to Benedict's 27-yard line, but it doesn't, it doesn't work for them. There was, there was uh, uh, no gain, incomplete pass, and then also a sack on top of that. But get this, they want to test your defense again, Coach. Hey, <laughs> i tell you what. Good luck for the offensive line uh, because our D-line can hunt. And uh, just like always, like they've been doing all year, they've been coming up with big plays and – the right times are and they may have bent a little bit but they never break and um, very very proud of their efforts but we were able to get a sack on they went for it on fourth down and we were able to get a sack with Lubert Danellas and Aaron Miller for a big time sack on fourth down to get the ball back to our offense. All right, we're going to skip ahead and move into the fourth quarter. We're still at 23. Benedict is still up in this game. So what happens is Jaden Broughton, who is our goodwill player spotlight, this guy comes up big mm -hmm. with a big sack and it forces Morehouse to punt to you guys. We get the ball, and again, JB's been coming up big for us all year. He had a great game, and like, as he always does, but we get the chance to get the ball back. Now we want to get some cushion and put this game away, so we're going to feed the ball to our big back, and he was able to get a big run on that drive. I think it was like a 34-yard run, and uh, for that game, he had 10 carries for like 104 yards. Uh, he really ran the ball well. Uh, when you look at Duhart's production in that game. But we mixed up a little running pass on that drive. We were able to hit Caden High on a little short pass from Aeneas Dennis, and we were able to finish that drive off with a touchdown for Caden High, our freshman out of Atlanta, Georgia, who's have, having an amazing year. I think he's got a bright, bright future here in this program. And uh, now we're up 27-3. to 3. 
So late in the fourth quarter, what happens here? Benedict gets a short punt that gives Morehouse the ball under Benedict 32. Now, when that happens, uh, we get a, another sack. That's our sixth sack of the game right there for your defense. I'm like, they were on fire. They were. They were. And it's not just, you know, our D-line and they hunt. But we were able to get some sacks from some other guys as well. But, um, you know, I tell you what, Coach Gary Howard, I tell you what, he has those guys hunting up front. And whenever you have the big guys playing up front, you got a chance. My philosophy is if, if you can't block us, you can't beat us. So, you know, good luck to the teams who are trying to block us. No question about it. Yeah, so Morehouse gets the ball. They get a 22-yard pass. But I think that's all, <laughs> that's, that's all for them at that point. Well, they're, they're, they're moving the ball. They're actually taking it down the field. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're trying to get some points to generate it before the game's over because we're in the fourth quarter now. But, again, our defense is bending. They're bending, but they're not breaking. And uh, we were able to get a big-time interception by Gerard Washington. And uh, I'll tell you what, it was a beautiful thing just to see him <laughs> because that was his first interception of the year. He's one of our newcomers. He got an opportunity to play late in that game as we were closing that team out. And, and he was close, man. He almost took it. He caught it in the end zone, and he almost took it back. I think he ended up getting tackled on, like, the nine-yard line <laughs> as game expired. So the game's over now. Yeah. We end up winning that football game with the mission. The mission doesn't change. 1-0. So the final score was 27-3, Benedict College Tigers. And I always got to say Benedict College Tigers. Couldn't say go Tigers all last week, but they're <laughs> the Tigers as well. But uh, I wanted to make sure I re reemphasize Benedict College Tigers. But the mission doesn't change. All right? Every week, teams go out and try to secure victory. And we have to get credit to the other team. Morehouse came with a good plan. But at the end of the day, we accomplished the mission. And the mission each and every week is to go 1-0. So I'm grateful for the young men and their efforts, the coaches, the resilience, the fan base. I was excited to see the crowd when I looked up behind. We appreciate all the support. But we found a way to accomplish the mission, and that is to go 1-0. 27-3, as the coach just talked about, that's how we wrap things up with Morehouse. And what we're going to do, though, before we wrap this edition of the Coach Chennis Berry Show up, we got to get our um, Lexington Medical Center coach spotlight, assistant coach spotlight. It's going to be your defensive lineman. This guy, he's putting some work into those front four that you have out there, or front three. I mean, because, you know, you get the 4-3 defense or the 5-2 defense. See, I know about the defenses. Depending on what he does, he's making it work, whatever it is. We're going to find out about uh, Coach Gary Howard coming up. Gary Howard. What a great addition to our staff. This is year two in the program. He's got our defense line playing at an amazing level. I mean, he has great relationship with those guys. You know, he coaches them hard, but he loves them, and they play very, very hard for him. So I'm grateful to see the future that Gary Howard has, but the future is right now. There's no opportunity wasted, and he's making us better from the fruits of his labor, all the hard work he's put in. But our D-line is playing some really, really good ball right now. And yeah, we're going to get to hear from him coming up in just a bit. We're also going to look ahead to our next game against Miles in just a little bit as well. Coach Chennis Berry Show. It's brought to you by South Point Roofing and Restoration. Thank you for being with us. Don't go nowhere. Right back after this. At Lexington Medical Center, we want you to lead a long and healthy life. And we're here to help you do just that. Our experienced team of healthcare professionals wants nothing more than to help make you well again. Take good care of yourself. And remember, we're here for you whenever you need us. If you don't already have a doctor or you're looking for a new one, choose from more than 70 physician practices at Lexington Medical Center. We wish you a lifetime of good health and happiness. Be well. My name is Gary Howe. I'm the defensive line coach here at Bandit College. Just a little bit about my coaching journey. It started when I was in high school when I helped out with my little brother's little league team. And I actually started at my alma mater, Alabama State University. After I graduated, I became a first-year GA back in 2017. So after I became that, I became quality control and did full-time as an interior defensive line coach. And now after a few years there, now I'm here at Benedict College. Somebody that influenced my coaching career is my old head coach, Donald Hill Ely. Um, he was recruiting me out throughout my whole junior college career playing ball. As he brought me to Alabama State, he's been like a, another father figure away from home. So as I was being a graduate assistant for him, became, he actually gave me my first full-time role actually uh, at Alabama State University. So that's somebody who influenced me throughout my coaching journey. One of my favorite coaching memories is when the first young man I recruited actually came down here and actually was able to meet his parents for the first time he was a foster kid. And then the second one actually was when he graduated. So that's kind of two on one. So that's my favorite coaching memory. Go Tigers. Life moves fast. And while you're raising future MVPs, it's good to know you've got a teammate with Founders, a partner you can trust to always have your back with products and services that give you the freedom to focus on the more important things. 
While you're sharing those moments, remember, we're here for one single reason, to help grow your financial success. So when the game is done, you can relax. Because at Founders, our most valuable player is you. You've never been afraid to put in the work. The extra early, extra late, extra, extra work. Because you understand that education is the key that unlocks everything. Better pay, better hours, better opportunities, a better you. And playing the lottery is no different. Getting educated before you play gives you the tools you need to be a better player, like knowing when to play and when to take a brain check. Visit sceducationlottery.com slash better you to be a better player. Welcome back to the Coach Chenis Berry Show. It's brought to you by South Point Roofing and Restoration. We've got a lot of other sponsors as well. We want to say thank you to them. And, and you know what? Don't forget, when we come home, CAE, you know what I'm talking about, Columbia Metropolitan Airport, you're in that stand. You have an opportunity to fly somewhere you, where you want to go within the continental U.S., all right? Mm-hmm. So we'll talk about that when we get that home game because we got to go to Birmingham now and deal with Miles College. And, you know, they're, gonna, they're not going to be a pushover. These guys are 4-1. and one. This pushover. That's a good football team. Yeah. I mean, they're 4-1. Their one loss was a one-point loss to a swag school, UAPB. They beat Alabama State. Uh, they've been playing some really good ball. They're playing with confidence. And uh, we're going to have to go play our best football game. It'll be fun. I mean, they moved the game up. Originally, kickoff was going to be at 4 o'clock Central Standard Time, but they moved it up to noon. They want prime time. They want uh, people to watch it. So, you know, we like love for our fans to be able to make it, to be able to give us that 12th man. But if you have to catch it on TV, uh, so HBCU go. But our young men will be ready to go. You know, we're very excited about a great week of practice. We started off uh, getting a little introduction to Miles College and what they do and how they do it. But, you know, our young men and our coaches will be chopping at the bit. And again, the mission doesn't change. You know, we're going to travel with our 58 players uh, that we are allowed to travel per, per SIEC rules, and we're going to take 58 that's committed, 58 that's ready to rock and roll, 58 that's locked in, 58 that's focused on focus, effort, and execution, 58 that's locked on digging deep, that's discipline, integrity, God, dedication, effort, execution, pride, and the mission doesn't change. To go to Birmingham, Alabama versus a really, really good Miles College football team and come back 1-0. And both Miles and Benedict are 3-0 and in the SIAC, and that's very important when you talk about championship implications. Well, it's a big game. Why? Because it's the next game. You know, we don't look at it any way other than that. Our young men are focused on that, too. If you ask them about the game, they know what it holds, but at the same time, it's a big game. Why? Because it's the next one, and they'll be ready to rock and roll when we go to Birmingham this upcoming Friday, getting ready to play on Saturday. You know, also, Miles has one of the most explosive offenses as well in the SIAC. 34 points, right, per game. Not only that, 436 yards of offense as well. Your defense has got to come with their A game on this one. And they, and they understand what's in front of them. You know, they, Miles does a good job. They have good guys up front that's doing a good job of opening up lanes for their running backs. They have a new quarterback, young man, that's, that's playing really, really good football. You know, and they have some guys on the perimeter that can really be explosive. But I have all the confidence in my defense staff. They've been playing great all year. I mean, you know, you're talking about on all three levels, our front, our linebacker core, and our secondary has been playing really good ball. And, and I don't expect that to change. You know, we understand what's at stake. They have a good offense. Uh, we have a good offense. They have a good defense. We have a good defense. They have good special teams. We have good special teams. So it ought to be fun this weekend in Birmingham, Alabama. But we'll be ready to go when we get ready to rock and roll at 12 noon in Birmingham, Alabama. If you want to go to the game and you want to travel or support your Benedict College Tigers, I'm going to tell you the easiest way to do it. Leave the drive into us. Your Benedict College Booster Club, they're taking the bus. Get to sit next to all your BC fans and head up there and cheer on That's your right. Benedict College Tigers. Be the 12th man to help this team out. They, they love it when you're there. I love promise you love they it. do. Love they look up in the stands and they see that purple and gold and they know they got the support of uh, the Benedict College Tigers, which is great. All right, so 803-360-6609. That number again is 803 803- 360-6609. You call that number, you talk to Mr. Thomas and say, I want my ride to see my BC Tigers this coming weekend. It's a noon kickoff central time, 1 p.m. Eastern, all right? So if you're going to watch it from this way, all you got to do is find that Grio channel. Check your local TV listings and guide and all that type of stuff. Look for the Grio. You'll be able to catch this game 1 o'clock Eastern. And if you're going to be riding, it's central. So we're going to have a great time on this trip. And also, we've got to bring back that big win against uh, Miles College. Tell you what, we'll be ready to go. But that 12th man is nothing like it. Nothing like looking up there and seeing Benedict purple and gold. You know, 
and uh, so, so excited and so grateful for the support that we receive on the road. And, uh, but our young men will be locked in, you know, and they'll be focused on the task at hand. And we have a mission, it's a business trip, and we have to come back to Benedict College one and all. Absolutely. I want to thank our sponsors as well. We have South Point Roofing and Restoration. Thank you so much for being the primary sponsor. Also, Lexington Medical Center, Goodwill, Columbia Metropolitan Airport, Founders Credit Union, and also Prisma Health with the South Carolina Education Lottery. All you fine folks know that you're back in the big winner when you talk about BCBC. You know, you know. Go Tigers. Go Tigers. Let's have a great day. Let's get it. One and all. Oh.